Good evening, superintendent and trustees. My name is Emily Sawyer. Uh, my children attend Blanton Elementary and Martin Middle Schools. I'm a member of the Eastside Memorial uh, Campus Architectural Team and a recent appointee to the Fab Pack, as well as having followed the BSTF in its work over the last few months. Given the current realities in our city and district, school consolidations have become necessary and I believe inevitable. It is not enough, however, to simply be fair-minded and logical in choosing and applying criteria for school consolidations. We must choose to be radical in redressing past racist wrongs perpetrated against those in the education system whom we historically did not see fit to educate. And these wrongs continue to this day, often in the same ways but also in new ways, in approaches to education that actually support the persistence of the gaps they are purportedly designed to close and in our unwillingness to admit dehumanization of certain students and communities inherent in our current education system. When we use under-enrollment and underperformance as the main criteria for consolidation, we punish schools and communities for failing when we set them up to fail. Remember, outcomes such as these do not happen in a vacuum. They happen within a system and an historical context. We can do better. If our public education system is failing poor black children and children of color, then it is simply failing. I ask the superintendent and trustees to be bold and undeterred by discomfort as you consider what equity would really mean in this district. As you discuss criteria for consolidations and any new enrollment zone strategies, please be transparent and create guidelines that are usable so we don't end up in the same boat that we, we are in with our renaming process. Please also look at academics and the ways that programs and testing also serve to maintain the status quo and a deficit view of certain students. We need strategic, brave leadership, not just feel-good talking points and kumbaya moments. We need leaders who will stand up to protect our teachers and our students against anyone who would abuse or dehumanize them, whether personally or systemically, and who will make difficult cho choices that we in this community can point to and say, see, this is what we stand for. Thank you. Thank you.